Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to our first look at Alchemist Simulator. So here we are, just going straight into the game. Haven't done anything as yet. Um, but here it says, finally you are here. Didn't your grandpa write to you that this is an urgent matter? Ah, youngsters these days. What do you mean he didn't give any specifics? Anyways, you need to start settling in. I will help you at first, but after that you're on your own. Just do exactly as I say, and hopefully this whole place will not go up in flames. Let's hope not. At least, not in the first week. Okay, now to business. While your grandpa is away, you'll be working here and hopefully learn a thing or two about being a true alchemist. Go to the mailbox on the door and get your first contract. Alright. Let me have a look at um, some settings. Let's turn the music down a little bit. It's quite loud. Uh, resume. So we need to go here. Show quest list E. Beginner's luck. So, dear grandson, I'm terribly sorry that I couldn't meet you in person, but an adventure of a lifetime knocked on my door and I couldn't let it slip through my fingers. I had to leave for London most hastily and couldn't make the necessary preparations regarding my lab. So you have to work here for a while till I get back. I know that you haven't yet finished your training, but I pulled some strings and got you your license. You don't become a Grandmaster Alchemist without gaining some connections. Alright, listen, please listen to my assistant. She will bring you up to speed. She may have a grumpy character, but her skills will prove to be invaluable in your work. Your first contract will actually be to finish the one I accepted yesterday, but didn't have any time to finish. It is very simple. You just need to make a healing potion and hand it to my assistant. She usually takes care of all deliveries. Remember, the lab needs to be working and bring in a profit, or we both be may, we both may lose our licenses. Oh, and I love you. Yes, there's a little condition on which I've got your license. You need to prove to my friend that you're a capable alchemist, but he will help you to learn the recipes that you don't know yet. From time to time, you'll receive contacts, contracts from him with instructions on how a specific potion can be crafted. Just complete them and everything should be fine. So, in Liara. So, healing potion, three days left. 150 fame, 712 coins. Good, looks like you're able to follow simple instructions. I was expecting worse. Given your limited mental capacity, whenever you get a new contract, make a note with the list of required potions and their aspects. What do you mean, to make a note where? Get yourself a notebook if you are that stupid, or two like me. Okay, so press Q. The beginner's luck. Yes, yeah, something like that. Note that some quests may have a bonus in store for you if you complete them quickly enough. You should keep track of the number of, day of bonus days remaining in your notes that we've now so must masterfully learned to use. Next order of business, you need to learn to use the almanac. How you could have not ever worked with an almanac before? What were you doing in the academy? Watch your cuts, I see. Well, good for you. Because here we have one of those authentic almanacs with all the bells and whistles. It's over here in the library. Come and take a look. All right, so almanac's here. She's over here. What do we have here? Our boiling pot. Upstairs. I wonder if I can actually change. No, the field of view. I seem like I'm really zoomed in on things. Alright, let's read the almanac. Almanac is a very powerful magical tool. Luckily, your grandpa had time to reset it before leaving. So now it is in, has integrated with your aura and will display information directly based on your progress and knowledge. Let's go over the, the different sections of the almanac. First one is your fame level. Whenever you are fulfilling contracts, you will become more and more famous. This will allow you to take on more high-end contracts and may even allow us to use some equipment that had to be disabled when you moved in. What do you mean, what for? So that you don't burn down the building. There is some serious hardware. As a friend of mine used to say, you are not prepared. Now go to the next section. Right, so can we just... Oh yeah, turn the page there. It is just as a cheat sheet to remind you how the aspects and processing works. You should know that already, at least I hope you do. But still, let's go over it one more time. On the left, you can see the aspects. As you know, every al alchem alchem Jesus, alchemical ingredient contains them. These aspects belong to one of our four branches. Purity, corruption, order and chaos. So where's purity? Oh, purity and corruption. Is that right? Yeah, purity and corruption. I don't think that's order and chaos. This might be order and chaos. 
No, that could be life and death. Oh no, heat and cold, obviously. Life and death. Yes, yeah, so that's life, that's death. And purity, corruption. So, anyway, purity, corruption has purity on one side and corruption on the other, for example. So, which one's purity, which one's corruption? I don't know. Each ingredient can contain one or more aspects from different branches. By using various work branches, you'll be manipulating the state of those branches. We'll get into more details on how it works when we get to the workbenches. You also have a larger version of this cheat sheet above your working table. On the right side you can see a simple scheme to remind you of the order in which you can use different processing types through their respective workbenches. For example, you can cut an ingredient and then grind it in the mortar, but not vice versa. So you can cut and then grind. You can't go backwards, so you can cut and dry, or you can dry and then cut. I'm not sure what that is. Anyway. Um, next page. Here you'll be able to upgrade your equipment for the gold that you make while fulfilling contracts. Note that some upgrades will only unlock on a certain fame level. IT workbenches will allow you to perform more complicated operations. For example, the knife will stay sharp for longer and mortar will become effective at strengthening the aspects. Okay. Broken shelf. Upgrade for a thousand dollars. Okay, here you will see a list of all the recipes that you've discovered and their required aspects. As you learn your recipes, you'll also be shown here. Yes, yes, magic is cool, I know. Cool, so we need to make a healing potion. So we need the hearts and like the star thing. Alright, so ingredients. This section works just like the recipes and it seems that you already know all the ingredients. At least you learned something in the academy. Now come here and let's review the process of ordering the required ingredients. We'll walk you through the first contract, but it is a one-time deal. Don't expect that much help in the future. You'll need carambola and coal. So if you go over carambola here, um, this yellow exotic fruit can be cut into wonderful stars. Alchemists are not sure if the star-shaped ingredients is better than others when brewing potions, but it's very popular. So you've got the sword, and then we've got the star and the diamond. So the star, the diamond is what we need, or the star, I should say. Then the coal. Oh, we need the healing aspect, so we need to get rid of the heat aspect, I think. All right, so come out of here. We'll talk to you. We'll buy. What have we got? Let's buy two and two. Okay, I almost forgot. You can sell extra potions that you won't need for any particular contract here for extra cash. Potion at the bottom of the ledger is, is a so-called potion of the day, depending on the demand of our clients. Some potions can be sold for even more. They change each day. Stay on your toes. Uh, there is more important thing to know. Your grandfather is quite an inventor and he has a number of patients or patents which bring in a certain amount of gold every day. This is not much, but it can help in case you have a streak of bad luck. Once you place your order, they'll magically appear in the delivery box near the entrance. This interacts with, all the, with it and all the deliveries will magically sort it in the storage. So let's get another coal. I'll oh, say so the cold resistance potion is what they want for today. Okay, cool. Alright, thank you for using my shop. So we need to interact with this. Our ingredients will now fly out of here. Looks impressive, I know. Told you we've got all the bells and whistles here. That stuff costs money, so keep moving and start working on the contract now. Need to get rid of the unwanted aspects of the carambola. You can cut the whole aspect chain using the cutting planks. Use it to cut out the order and chaos chain. You can always see the aspect chains in the picture above. Alright, so we have a look at this. So order and chaos is here, obviously. So we want to make sure we leave light. So we need to cut order and chaos. To cut out the order and chaos. Alright, there we go. Good job. Now you have a carambola with only two aspects, clarity and light. Now you need to get rid of the second unwanted aspect. Oh, I have an idea. Trying process will destroy the weakest aspects. Dry carambola wants to destroy the clarity aspect. So, because I've got clarity and light, so if we dry it, it'll get rid of clarity and it'll leave the light behind. Okay, so we'll throw that in there. Let's grab another one of these. Cut out the order and chaos. 
Um, yep. You need a more potent version of the aspect that is left. Try grinding it into the dust with the mortar. This is wrong. I know this is wrong. Right, so pick this up. So now we have... Oh, we have clarity? Why do we have clarity? Grind the cut and dry current bowl in the mortar. So empowerment. So... So maybe it's gone from light to clarity. Um, as you know, in order to make a potion with a set of aspects you need to do, use process those ingredients in a manner that will leave only required aspects on them. Put all those ingredients in the cauldron and activate it. I bet in the academy you also had to read mantras and dance around while the potion was brewing, but your grandpa is not that cheap. We've got ourselves a neat new cauldron, cauldron hater 3000, so the process is much simpler. Okay, so there we go. So that actually looks like it left behind the clarity. But then if we put the clarity in here, it turns it into light. Alright, so we'll throw that into the cauldron. Um, so we are past the hardest part now. Onto the coal. We don't need the fire aspect. Let's so cut it out. Okay, so we'll grab that. Throw that there. So grab one of those. Put it there. So we have, uh, what is it, fire and cure. So we want to get rid of the heat and cold. So it should just left, leave the cure behind. The coal into the mortar. So now we have just cure. So we want to make it stronger. So we need to get it to the next stage. So put cure into here. That'll work. So let's pick this up. Cut out the heat and cold. Yes, I know. I'm trying to do two at once. Calm down. Alright, so if we put that there. Put ground coal in the cauldron and activate it to mix all the ingredients inside. Which we are. All potion slots. So we can make potions and actually leave them on the wall. That's pretty good. Pick up the coal. Uh, put the ground coal in the cauldron and activate it. Okay, press E to activate. Now wait for the potion brewing to finish. Told you, cold rate of 3000 is something. Take this potion and bring it to me. We'll handle the delivery and everything else. Alright, so once it's finished, there we go, look at that. Beautiful healing potion. Let's stick it up there. Let's um throw these into there. And then press E to activate. So we can actually sell one of these. And then also... Just give her one to complete the quest. Right, so come over here. Okay, start trading. Try to sell potion. Left mouse or submit for quest. Right mouse. Looks like they did teach you something in that academy. You managed to complete the first contract all on your own. Good work. Well, this was a long day. We managed to do quite a lot. You must be very tired. What do you mean you're not tired at all? You need to be more careful. Being an alchemist is a very demanding profession. If you stay up for too long, you can lose consciousness. If that happens, the house will magically move you to the bed, so nothing critical will happen. Well, that's good to know. Your grandpa was also a workaholic, so he had to think of a way, some way to lessen the number of head bumps he had. Looking at you, I see that we were right to do so. That's not very nice. Okay, I've had enough of expiring. Alchemist for one day, go upstairs. I don't want to see you till the next morning. Keep up the good work and you might just make it. Alright, let's what's this over here? Some plants, a trash can. We'll see a trier. Uh, shelf slots, some potions, or empty potions. I do like the way that it looks. Alright, can we sell you this? Can we see how much money we actually have? Uh, 12 10 I think I have. If I sell that to you... Did that give me anything? I don't know. Alright, let's... Um, where's our stairs? Oh, over here. There we go. Go up here. Some books. Room. Skip day. There we go come to day number two. Good morning, I've been thinking and I believe you're ready to start working on your own today. 
Be more precise to say that I'm too exhausted from holding your hand from the yesterday's contract, and at this rate, my fear of you burning down the house is lower than my disdain to explain every little detail of being an alchemist. So congratulations, and if you need me, I'll be in the library preparing fire extinguishers. Oh, thank you. Okay, so did you give me money for that or what? Okay, 1635, so she, she must have. Right, come into here. Cure disease, jump, or no sleep potion. Um, let's go with cure disease because it might be easier. This is a pretty simple potion. It cures sickness and poisons. Nothing very exciting, but it pays the bills for those who are not educated enough to teach in the academy. It should prove useful to you. Alright, so cure disease. Okay, so we need two... Two coal. If you look in here. Alright, so start trading. Buy two of you. How much do they cost? 70 or 90 each they cost. I don't know if it's worthwhile doubling everything or not. But let's just go in here. So we're going to have to cut out the heat with these. Alright, so two coal onto here. Cut out the hot cold. Let's bring this other one over here so we can use this a bit easier. So this can go straight in the cauldron. Grab the other one, cut out hot cold. We're gonna have to fix that. I think we need to sharpen our knife to fix that. Throw that in there, activate it. Let's um, activate sharpening the knife. So that should get this to go back up again. All right. This place does look pretty cool. I do love graphics like this. I know it's old school, but it does look pretty good. Right, that's done. We'll throw it up there for now. Right, so it looks like you're done. How do we... Oh, there we go. Press E to get rid of it again. Alright, so we can throw that in for a quest. I've heard an interesting thing about this potion. It appears that in very rare cases it can dramatically improve one's musical skills. I've always wanted to play Contrabass. Maybe I should give it a try. No, the other side effects are not worth it. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's look at our next one. Learn to make a jump potion. Pay attention here, student. Jump potion can be very dangerous. While it does allow you to jump high, it does not change the falling damage. So many fools have died because of this. Not that I mind. The board is a better place without them. But many of these fools are clients in very good standing. Professor Snail. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, let's have a look in the almanac. Where do we start at? So we need a feather. Okay, so a feather and a polar fish. I think that's what we need. Look through... Mines, yeah, feather and a polar fish. Let's go. Polar fish. Uh, where's our feather? Harpy's feather. Bye. Oh, thank you for using our shop. No worries. So hopefully, we don't make any mistakes with these, but oh, I can see myself ruining something. Alright, so grab this. Put this here. We want to take out the cold. Cut out the heat and the cold, which leaves behind, uh, what is it, uh, chaos or motion. Alright, so that's worked, I'll throw that there. Now we need to grab this. Um, okay, so we need to keep, where's the wind, we need to keep the wind in, but we need to get rid of corruption and the heat. Okay, um... Get rid of that. Now, can we cut it? I don't know if we can actually cut out the heat. Throw that over into here. Ooh, let's hope we're doing this the right way.
Uh, no, that's giving us heat. Okay, well that wasn't good. Uh, can I put this down somewhere? There we go. Ah, uh, no, okay. Harpy's Feather. We'll have to go and get another one. Harpy's Feather. I'm not going to throw that other one away in case we need it for something. So now how are we going to get... Get rid of the other stuff we don't need. Because it's got purple and red. So it's got... Corruption and like the heat. Ignorance and heat. If we cut out the heat. Let's uh let's try it. Okay, um, see what this does. I bet you this isn't going to work either. Uh, it's got darkness on it still. Now it's lost its wind. Ah, oh, what am I doing wrong? I don't know. Okay, um, because it's got two things on it, which doesn't help. Okay, so you've got that. What could we do to polar fish? Let's have a look, actually. Um, if we grab this polar fish, which has got... No, okay. If we put it in there, what will it... Will it go to wind? Let's try it. If that goes to wind, it'll probably go to chaos though, won't it? You guys are probably like... Yeah, you guys are probably like face palming, going, you idiot, you're doing the wrong thing. I oh, know, I probably am, I've just got no idea. Um, which really isn't a good thing. So let's have a look at the book again. Um, no, it's not what I want. Uh, information. What is that? So we can cut something out and dry something to remove something else. We can dry first. So what if we dry first? Because we want to keep the wind. Uh, I don't know. Grab this and we just need to cut out the hot and cold. Which will leave us with motion. But that's done. We just need the wind now. Ah, uh, no, that didn't help either. Ah, oh, damn it. Yep, I know. God damn you. Ah, uh, what do we get? What do we have to do? Can 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 you give me a little help? Um, bye. Run out of money. So, if we try it, we lose everything. Ah, uh, okay, so we cut out the heat. We're left with both of these then. Let's cut out the heat. So in 
then oh, I don't know what else we have to do we dry it but destroy all aspects yeah so maybe we need to dry it first no because when we dried it it just went straight to red didn't it How do we get this other aspect off? Ah, this is what I'm confused about now. Do we put it in the... Hey, where'd my other ingredients go? Did that disappear too? No, that didn't go. Um... Order. We don't want to put it there. There's nothing else we can use. So we put it in here, it's gonna take us to darkness and motion. We just want wind, we just need to get rid of the ignorance. We can't put it there. We can't put it there. Put it back in there and it just doesn't give us what we need either. Right, can we put it... Uh, can we put it back here? Uh, God damn. It's weird if we... Cut out this the corruption side, left with wind and heat. We put it over here, it gets rid of the heat. I don't think there's anything else we can buy that has the wind aspect in it though. Or something. Uh, still struggling with this. Guys are probably like face palming like crazy, going, You're an idiot, you're doing it the wrong way. But uh, literally, I'm stumped with this one. Put it over there, all we get back is heat. If you put it in here, it's not going to do anything. I'm going to go to this one. Um, so that's drying. Oh, so what is that? But this. doesn't really give you the aspect that we need. Obviously we've got the wind. We need to get rid of that, so we can cut that out, then we're left with wind and heat. Ah, oh, God. Left with both of those, if we try it, it doesn't work. I'm really stumped on this one. Really stumped. And that's that, and after you've put it into there, that's what it happens. Can you put it back in there? No. Can't do anything with that. That's already got that in it. Let's see what that brews. Brew something, we can sell it. Not 
Oh, hold on, I'll go back in case it explodes. Oh, yep. It brewed nothing. Ah. Oh. Alright, I might pause it here and see what I'm doing wrong. Bring you guys back once I've worked it out. So I'll be back in a sec. Oh, rightio, we're back. I think I've got it sorted. Um, ooh, I need just had enough money. Let's get two polar fish. Ah, uh, I sort of had it right before, I think. I just think I did the wrong stuff. So throw that there. We want to get rid of the cold. Which gives us... Uh, what is it? Motion. We throw that in the drying rack. That should drop it back. So what it looks like is if we have... Um, cut out the hot and cold and we have motion left. If I put... Okay, yep. If I put motion into here, it's going to make it better. If I throw it over into here, it's going to make it worse. Not worse, but... It'll drop it from the good one back to the back one. So, I think we've got that right now. So, let's um, yep, throw those into there. Wow, that was so confusing. Really confusing. I was absolutely stumped with that other feather, the feather thing. So, we only really want to get things that have got two, you know, like heat and cold. Or you want to have like heat and chaos or something like that. Pick that up. Give that to you. Oh, wow. Okay, so I need to give my slow fall potion. I've got a little bit of money left, but not much. I think I might leave these other two for our next episode. Because this one took me, like, literally forever. But that that's it. We've learnt a couple. Let's um throw that in the trash can. It's just a waste of money, I know, but uh, it is what it is. All right, let's head to bed, skip through to the next day, and um, we'll end the episode here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. If you want to see some more, let me know in the comments section. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't survived, uh, haven't su survived, haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.